Hey, what's up, Sam here. In this video, I will bring you the in-depth comparison review of the Mi Band 7 and the Huawei Band 7. I've been using them a lot in the past month and I have a lot to say. I bought these two bands out of my own pocket, so this video is totally objective and it should be helpful to you to make the right purchase decision. The two I was using to test were Chinese version, the Mi Band 7 features NFC where Huawei doesn't have. I actually borrowed the Mi Band 7 international version from my friend Simi. I've got to say they are basically the same, except the latter doesn't have Xiaomi voice assistant and NFC. By the way, a lot of people have asked with the standard international Mi Band 7 supports that gaming stuff or not. Yes, it does. For how to do this, I've already done a very detailed tutorial you can check out from here if you are interested to try now the comparison. Regarding the design, the significant difference is the Huawei Band 7 offers a physical key on the right side. I like this design. One benefit that comes with this is when you are using it in certain scenarios like swimming, bathing, or even rainy days. The screen may not work because of the water, but with the physical key, it's better and easier to operate. One thing I really want to complain about the Mi Band is that they seldom change their designs over the years. See, this is the Huawei Band 3 Pro. It used to be my daily driver. You see the wear and tear there. If we compare to the newest 7, it has changed a lot. But not for the Mi Band. The third generation is almost the same as the Mi Band 7. But gladly, on July 4th, Xiaomi will release the Mi Band 7 Pro, which is somehow very different. But still no physical key. Anyway, I will be the first one to bring you the English hands-on review. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. For the bezels, both bands are enormous if you take a closer look. The size of the Mi Band 7 is 1.62 inch, whilst the Huawei is 1.47 inch. However, because of the screen design, you see the Huawei Band 7 is rectangular and the Xiaomi is slimmer and more rounded. So the actual display area of Huawei is bigger than Xiaomi. So for this design part, I personally prefer the Huawei Band 7. The Huawei Band 7 is more like a traditional smartwatch. So I'm done to get all the shortcuts. Swipe up is the notifications, swipe left or right is the widgets. Press the physical key to get all the apps out. Also, it's key to return to the home page. The operation is responsive and direct. Meanwhile, the gesture control on the Mi Band 7 is just like what a normal smart band would have. However, the biggest issue is the lag. It's always one step behind if you compare to the Huawei Band 7. And it feels less convenient since it doesn't have a shortcut option. Like I want to enable DND, I have to go to settings, scroll way down, find the option and turn it on. For Huawei, basically just one step. Both bands are really about the same and don't feel particularly uncomfortable to wear. If I have to choose, I would say the Mi Band 7 is better, simply because the contact area with my skin is smaller. But one thing is, as you can see, the sensor on the Mi Band 7 is more protruding than the one on the Huawei 7. So the mark left on your wrist might be deeper if you wear too tight for some time. One small thing about the strap, I think the Mi Band is better as well. You see, I lost that circle thing for the Huawei Band 3 Pro and thus have been unusable since. For the Mi Band, it won't have such issue. Now, the most important part, the battery life. Both bands support a 180 mAh capacity battery and support up to 14 days of battery life. The charging speed is not a big difference, from 15% to 99% takes about 78 minutes. So for the charge, it should take around 1.5 hours. As for the battery draining test, at first I just used two bands regularly like I use them in default mode, which means the display will always on, continuous SPOT and hard rate monitoring will all disabled. I use them mostly for sedentary reminding, occasionally hard rate measuring, sleeping duration, and of course sometimes I forgot to wear them. <laughs> Surprisingly, I found they have about 60% of the water battery left after one week of use. Then I took them to the extreme battery draining tests. On July 2nd at 3 a.m., I fully charged both bands and turned on the Huawei on display, set the brightness to level 3, enabled the accurate sleep monitoring, continuous heart rate monitoring, and SPO2. Once I used both bands to record 30 minutes of outdoor walking, during the test, I didn't even take them off for a single minute. Now, by the time I'm recording this video, it's managed to work about 39 hours. And for the Mi Band 7, it has around 48% battery left, and Huawei has around 46% left. So for battery life, both bands are basically the same. Maybe Xiaomi is a little bit better. 
So according to this data, if you turn on all those heavy battery consuming features like I did, both bands would only last three, four days. For this part, it's a tie for both bands. The battery data accuracy for sleep, here the interface of the two. I personally like Huawei's. It's accurate and straight. Huawei app looks easy to understand with explanation for each parameter. Also, I noticed one thing, like the day I was testing, I took 30 minutes of nap, but the Mi Band 7 just didn't record that. Not sure if it has a bug or something. For hardware monitoring, Xiaomi is better with more parameters to offer. For SPO2, I think that they seem good. For workout, both offer the same data report. However, I noticed that Huawei recorded more range and less calories burned, while Xiaomi showed me the opposite. I don't know which should I believe, but anyway, they both look professional and detailed. So for data accuracy, both offer professional monitoring reports on several key functions I tested, but one thing I have to mention is that Huawei Band 7 performs way better than the Mi Band 7 which is the sleep monitoring. I'm not talking about the app reports, though it outperforms on that aspect too, but it's the user experience. The Huawei Band is smarter. When I woke up, I checked the Huawei Band, it seemed to become less responsive and slower. That's a good thing because when you just wake up, your brain functions slower and your eyes are more sensitive to light. Though for this, I haven't confirmed with the official Huawei team, I just feel so. For Xiaomi, it doesn't give me this feeling. Besides, the Mi Band 7 screen is still too bright to view in dark environment, even adjusted to the lowest brightness. But the biggest downside is what I'm about to say. You see, when you always on mode, for Huawei, you have to touch the screen or press the physical key to wake up the screen when you raise your waist. That's good. However, for Xiaomi, it will just light up the screen whenever you raise or move your wrist. Why this? It's already in always on mode, or I want to know when I raise my hand, it just check time. There's no need to light up the screen to show me other information, especially at night. This becomes extremely annoying when I'm sleeping because I will move unconsciously. So the Mi Band 7 screen will just light up, plus the two bright screen nearly drive me crazy. My wife complained about this a lot. I really hope Xiaomi can fix this and change the algorithm. So to conclude, my recommendation is pretty obvious. The Huawei Band 7. Though I'm a Mi fan and love many Xiaomi products, that's also including the Mi Band 7. You see, this version, it even supports gaming stuff. That's another surprising bonus. And the Mi Band 7 NFC version has almost the same price as the standard non-NFC Huawei Band 7. But if you have to choose between the two bands, I prefer the Huawei Band 7 for its overall better use experience. All right, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sammy. I will see you in the next one.